Oh yeah, folks, today is, oh boy, here I go with the skin, uh, July 11, yeah, July 11, here's a quick update, these things have taken off. They've been in the ground since June 20th or 21st. I can't remember which day I planted them. But it was that Tuesday and Wednesday. And they are just doing great. Just a comparison. There's one of them. And there's my hand, and I got a pretty big hand. Put that down for a second. It's almost already as big as my hand on these bigger plants. It's pretty cool. Just a reminder, these six are Virginia Golds. These six are Black Sea Samson, and those, I don't know, is there eight? Uh oh, <laughs> my stick I think got moved. I don't know, and the rest of those are Havana. Yeah, that leaf there, that's easily bigger than my hand. Look at that. Yep. These are taken off. I have the two planted behind the house. Those aren't doing so well. They're in those like a black pot. But whatever. And those two that I got planted up there, those are completely they're gone. Ain't getting no sunlight. Came down the water. That's it. So that's, I think, what, three or four weeks if my math is right. They're doing pretty good. Since these got planted late, I'd imagine that they're going to be harvested late. I don't even know how long they take. Remember, this is just a, this is a Polish garden. Nothing fancy. Me, my mother, we take after her father, my grandfather. Got something just throw it in the ground and see what happens and they're doing all right I got the bus up by the driveway there I got her plywood she's I'm gonna put another coat of paint inside there but right now the school work is kicking my ass so that's probably gonna be I'll put on hold so there you go have a good one, folks. Today's August 18th, maybe? 17th? And this is what it looks like now. I'll show you maintenance on these. Some of which I did way too late. Just because I lost track of time. But... Where the, leaf, the big leaves are attached to the stem, there's going to be these little suckers, you might call it, that'll start growing. And what they are are just little new stalks that are going to try and branch out. And you want to try and pick those off so that way the plant can focus all of its... Okay, here's a small one. I can't see my camera. You can see it. plant to focus all its energy into your leaves so I just go around I pick them off Small one. and it's so bright out here I can't see the camera and see what it's picking up so I'm sorry if I'm not getting anything
you could let your plants, if you want seeds from your plants, you're going to let them grow out, right? You're going to get these little seed bundles like this and you're going to let them get up and flower and everything. Well, if you don't want your plants to cross pollinate, you're going to have to isolate the seeds from each variety of plant. So what I saw is to get like an old piece of curtain or something mesh that when it rains, like the water, it won't soak up the water and weigh a million pounds or anything. And you're going to make like a bag, sort of. And you're going to put it on top of the two of your best plants of each seed. I'm sorry, I'm just going down the line here so you can see each plant. Looking for shoots, suckers, whatever you want to call them. Make sure you check the whole 360. I'm doing the outsides right now and then I'll go in there and I'll do the insides. See, I've been picking these off because I have my Havanas isolated. Here's what the bag looks like. Here's the bag. It's just a piece of curtain. I s you cut out a square and then you're gonna fold it, cut out a square, fold it over, and then you're gonna make the bottom length about eight inches and the top about 12 or 14. And then you're just going to staple the sides and you're going to put the 8 inch at the bottom and the 12 at the top. You want to leave room for growth. I don't think I'm too late. I might be too late with these plants. They might have already cross pollinated. I don't know. I fell behind. Example that got a little too big. Drained out a lot of energy. Now this one's already starting to mature. Tell because they'll get, they'll start turning yellowish and they'll feel more leathery, firm, kind of. If you will I mean these leaves you could feel they're they're kind of soft to the touch like really soft and you might also notice that I got all these bugs on the underside I've just been sprinkling seven dust on them and that took care of a lot of them I have to come back down and get some of these new new parts but seven dust has been working very well and I'm gonna stop recording because my phone don't have doesn't have too much power left in it. So here's what it looks like. And stay tuned. I know I was supposed to end that video, but I'm just gonna attach this onto it just so that way you could see more of what the suckers look like and all that. I haven't been down here since that last bit of footage and I have been slacking. These are flowered. I saw suckers over there I gotta pull off. So let's get to it.
I have to bag these. So since I'm gonna bag this one, I just wanna get this. I'm gonna pick these. Can you see that? There we go. I'm gonna pick this these top leaves off and just get this in the bag. Sorry. So just gonna pinch it all off. Pinch that off. Pinch this. And these are the little bugs that get on it. Or at least where I live, this, those are the bugs that get on it. Let's throw it in there for now. Screw it in. Some of these leaves might be pretty damn close to being picked. Yep, there's one. I'm sorry if I'm not pointing the camera in the right direction. It's very bright out here. Can't really see my screen too well. There's some wee little things. Now this is actually, oops, this is its own plant. It fell over. It's supposed to be like that. Because it's so late, I might just leave it like this, but I should tie this up. And this is a Black Sea Samson. These two are my best, so I'm going to isolate these two. So I'm going to rip these seeds off of here, so that way the plant can focus all its energy on the leaves. Let's see if I can turn the brightness up so I can see what I'm feeling. There we go. This is the start of the Havanas. See, now there's one that got way too big. Too big. Put that on the nah. put that on the side. Yeah, there we go. Screw it. And I already made the sh those hoods, those seed hoods. I'm sorry I didn't film it. I should have. Shame on me. But I will explain how to make the hoods one more time. I cut out a piece of curtain. You want some kind of material that is, will let the light through and won't absorb water. So that way when it rains, it's not gonna weigh down the whole plant. Cut it, in, I cut mine in like a two and a half by two and a half foot square. And once you have that, you're gonna wanna fold it in half, make the top where the two flaps are about eight, nine inches wide. And you're gonna wanna leave the top where, or you're gonna wanna cut the top, not cut the top. You're gonna cut up, up the sides. See, here's my sides. You can see I stapled it. This is the top. See, I just fold it over. Measure the bottom eight or nine inches, measure the top about 20, and take off the sides. And that's your hood. There's the suckers that are too big. Just pinch them off. How often to come down here and do this? Uh, I don't come down here often enough. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe every three days, come and take a look at them. I'm not doing every three days. I just come down here when I say, oh, I haven't been down here in a while. All right, folks. I'm gonna end this video. It's 
give you one more nice look. I'm 6'1". That plant is definitely 6'6 six, six or taller. These are about six foot, these Havanas. Those are just probably about five, five three. And I really don't know what these are. I'm gonna guess Kentucky Burley. I'm not sure how I'm gonna bag this. I'm not sure how I'm gonna trim that and I have no idea. I'm thinking if I just bag those, if I have three of four seeds bagged and isolated, why should I need to isolate the last one? That's my theory, so that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. All right, stay tuned. In the future, I shall put up where I'm hanging them, hanging my leaves, drying them out, and have a good one.